Welcome back everyone to video number six in Microsoft Excel for Beginners. In today's lesson we're going to talk about number formatting. Um, specifically I'm going to talk about this section right here of the Microsoft ribbon on the, ho on the home ribbon. This section here called the number section. Uh, we'll talk about what each of these buttons do. Uh, the first uh, the first feature I want to talk about is the decimal. Um, a lot of times when you're in a formula, and I'm just going to plug one in here, I'm going to say this equals 1 divided by 6, and I press enter, we get this long number. Um, a lot of times this number is too long, so how would you reduce it down? Very easily. Uh, when you go to the number toolbar, um, there's two buttons here. This one increases your decimal position, this decreases. So for this particular example, I want to decrease it to just two decimal points. So I want to click the decrease several times, and as you click it, notice the number's reducing. And also notice that it keeps rounding off. Again, that's where I want to stop it at. That's what I like. So uh, 0 0.17. Uh, again, you can always increase it back if you need to. Uh, by clicking the other button called increase. And by the way, if you notice when you hover above a button in the toolbar, it gives you a quick description of what that button does. Pretty cool. Next, let's talk about dollars. Um, normally, when you enter in a, an, an amount, let's say 10,000, um, it doesn't, it's just a number of 10,000. How do we convert that to a dollar? Uh, well, again, we go back to our toolbar up here. Um, and click on the dollar sign. It's that easy. And it'll automatically convert it to dollars. And also notice that it does put in two decimal points. Uh, to get rid of those decimals, we can go back to what we just learned and back those out by decreasing it by two. Um, let's pretend we have a long number. I'm going to plug in just a long number here. And we'll press enter. And if you had to read that, it might be challenging. Um, Excel makes it a lot easier when you're dealing with long numbers to use commas, the comma style. Uh, notice what happens when I click this button. Whoop, it hides it. Let me widen my column out so we can see it. There we go. As you can see now, that number is much easier to read. 123,456,789. And again, the default is it puts two decimal points on there. Um, if you like that, great, leave it alone. If not, back it out. Or you can increase it by more if you wish, whatever you choose. I'm going to back mine back to, to no decimal points. Finally, let's talk about percentages. Um, if you um, plug in a number, say let's plug in um, 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we want this to show as a percentage. Excel makes that very easy as well. Um, click on the cell, come up to the toolbar under the number section and click percent style and it'll automatically convert it to a percentage. And a lot of times um, you may want to add decimal points to a percentage. So taking what we've learned, we can add a few more decimal points there. So real quickly, we're able to format our numbers pretty much in any style we want to using these quick little buttons in the number section of the ribbon up here. Um, so that's all for this lesson. Uh, you're welcome uh, to do some homework if you like. Uh, I encourage you to go back to your homework from the previous video and why don't you add two decimal points to your hours worked uh, and you can also convert all your um, numbers to currency for your paycheck. Uh, so that'll be some good practice for you. Play around with the decimals. Uh, you can also change these numbers if you'd like to. Whatever you'd like to do will give you some good practice uh, formatting your numbers.